It's the best of five, and this guy spawning up in the top left-hand side of the map. Got the 2-0 lead so far. It's Serral playing for Team Ends. And his opponent spawning down the bottom right-hand side of the map. Got to come back from that 0-2 deficit. It is Euthermal playing for Team Liquid. Alrighty, so, looks like Serral. Looks like he's going for that hatchery first, not going for an early pool this game. I mean, the last map was a very small map, and so the early safety pool makes sense, but on Acid Plant, it's a very safe map to get your two bases up. Proxy Racks, not too big of a threat on a map like this. I mean, obviously with Euthermal it can happen, but Euthermal's playing straight up this time. We're not seeing uh, mass reapers or anything this game. Yeah, the, uh, the fact, uh, I guess that game, Ethermal didn't go for a third base, so he did choose to all-in. I guess when you're versus someone like Serral and you know he's behind, you want to be able to kill him off, but, I mean, without, like, plus two or something versus those roaches, the marines aren't that amazing. They're, I mean, 200 supply of roaches is a lot of roaches for marines to cut through. Now, uh, let's see, we've got uh, Command Center on the way for Euthermal, Standard Reaper Expand. Both these guys playing straight up. Euthermal went for a 2-1-1 in the first game, went for, or a 2-1-1 variant, I guess. The uh, fact that he had those Hellions and Hellbats was a little bit different. Didn't get too much done there, but we'll see what he's going to do this game. Most likely going to be a factory. There we go, he's already got that gas. That'll make his safety marine, ma make his reactor. Alrighty, Reaper heading on into the natural. Gonna see these links. Euthermal working away on some of these units, but I'd be surprised if we saw Sarah lose a drone or anything to a Reaper. Command Center on the way. Nothing, uh, nothing screaming ag aggression, screaming defense. I it's possible we'll see Euthermal Mech this game. Acid Plant, not the worst map for Mech. Let me just make sure that uh, Overlay has swapped over. It has indeed. Hellion's on the way for Euthermal. I think I'd like to see Euthermal try Mech versus Serral this game. I mean, Serral's, uh, Serral's a very good player, so he's probably safe versus most styles, but... I mean, sometimes Scrappy Mech can make it happen, or uh, Euthermal. Looks like he's going to be going for Hellion Banshee here, lifting off that barracks. It's got to be frustrating if you're a pro gamer to play against someone versus Serral. As I mean, uh... <laughs> like, just everything bounces off him. It's like, how, how can you hurt this guy? He's just... he's just so solid. Now Euthermal... Oh, oh guys, Euthermal going for the beams. Look at this, fusion core. I don't, it could be a battle cruiser. I don't want to say it's going to be a battle cruiser because it could be advanced ballistics and liberators, but if that was the case, I think he'd be making a liberator. So we'll see, Euthermal getting up a fusion core. I was talking how he could be going for some sort of scrappy mech. He's either opening up with advanced ballistics. I, I think it's going to be advanced ballistics. I'll prove me wrong and make it a battle cruiser, but advanced bullet. I mean, he's banking up. It's gonna be a BC. It's a BC, guys. It's gonna start in just a second here. He needs 20 more gas. Oh my God, you thermal. This is this is the most meme series. Mass Reapers battle cruiser on the way. All right, guys. You thermal. He's going for a battle cruiser. Okay. Alrighty. Is he going to research Yamato Cannon? I think he thermal. He needs to throw up another gas. But he's actually getting an armory. Is this going to be Battlecruiser Hellbat push? Or is he going to warp the BC into someone's main? Now, guys, I don't, I don't ever claim to be an expert in something. But I do Battlecruiser rush 90% of my TVZs. So I, I think I'm qualified to talk about this. Now, uh, 
We'll see. You thermal. He does plan on going for a Hellbat push with this. It's either that or he's just going to rush into, like, plus one armor or something. The fact that he's making Cyclones or something makes me think. I mean, it's so hard to call. Everyone has their... I mean, you thermal. He's freestyling it, but maybe that's what you need versus someone like Serral, who I completely ignored, by the way, is going for going for a Roach Queen all-in. But you thermal has a battle cruiser out, so I'm not sure how this one works out, to be honest. <laughs> Battle cruisers kill roaches slowly. Euthermal, he is going to be going for a counterattack. I mean, there's not too much. Well, there's lings, but I mean, lings versus hellions. Oh, Euthermal kiting with these hellions, pretty good. Going to kill off all these lings as Serral was reinforcing with them. Now, is Euthermal going to be able to hold? I was so busy talking about battle cruisers, I didn't focus on this enough. But double cyclone on the way. SCVs are pulled. Euthermal's ahead in workers as he's frying quite a few from Serral on his side of the map. I mean, these Hellbath, or these Hellions are doing work. Euthermal killing off a good number of drones. So Serral is pretty all in right now. And the Battle Cruiser, it's actually cleaning up the Queens, guys. He's doing it. The BC, the Legend. And now there's three Cyclones out for Euthermal, and they're pretty good versus Roaches, I think. I think Euthermal, the BC hard counter in from a Roach all in. I think he may have done it. I mean, he has lost 24 SCBs, but he's got a third base half started. As long as he doesn't lose any more SCVs, I sh he should be fine because Serral took a lot of damage from the what was going to be a Hellion count or a Hellbat attack, but turned into just being a uh, Hellion one. Third CC does get cancelled, which definitely hurts you thermal right now. As uh, Serral's very good player, just uh, going for anything that he can. And I mean, now there's a battle cruiser out, a battle cruiser. Viking gonna push away this overboard. Serral slaughtering these depots, which is uh, some nice damage getting done. I think Euthermal needs to start up a third CC again. Maybe uh, start a wall, get up a third CC. Serral's going into droning behind this. He's already up at 40. Serral's such a good player. The fact that he's at 40 workers already when he was down to 29 while going for an all-in. Euthermal is using BCs and takes Penthouse Party. That is good to know. I mean, and, and it's another BC, guys. Where, where's the BC? We've, okay, I'm a little sad there's no Yamato Cannon. It's pretty good. You get your value picking off Queens and such. I think I think if Euthermal squeezed out the Yamato Cannon, he'd be picking off a Queen or two, which is always nice. But uh, he's forced to retreat. He can't hang around and then eventually teleport out because he did teleport in. Okay, but there's Yamato Cannon on the way. Oh my god. And now Stim's on the way. Okay, so Euthermal is going to be playing Bio behind this. <laughs> what, what, what is this? What is this series, guys? Okay. I mean, uh, Hellion's moving out for Euthermal. If he can get some run-bys, that would be very nice. But getting that past all these units for Serral will be tough. Serral's just droning up, saturating his three bases. And, I mean, he's at 60 workers, which is kind of scary for Euthermal. But now Euthermal has Yamato Cannon, so he can come on in. He can snipe the Queen. He's got another Battle Cruiser. I'm not sure Serral's taken the Battle Cruiser threat seriously enough. Because Euthermal, he's now got two, right? Yeah, where's the other one? Oh, it's staying back at home. But, uh... Euthermal, he's gonna Yamato Cannon that Queen. And we'll see, I mean, Serral just has Queens now. Is this Euthermal just gonna use Yamato Cannon, park the BCs out there, use Yamato Cannon left and right? Just every time it's ready. I mean, Hellion's coming on in, getting some nice shots off on the Lings. Maybe gonna get a drone or two, but should be forced out. Now there's this other battle cruiser for Euthermal. Look at this, it blinks on in, it Yamato Cannon's down a Queen. And now there's a battle cruiser, I mean, it's hanging out in the main base. Uh, looks like this one will be forced back, and I mean, ah, uh, this PC is not getting too much damage done, but th this, I mean, it's certainly keeping Serral busy right now. He's investing in a Spire, maybe thinking that it's going to be more than two, but really it is a bio follow-up from Euthermal. Where that, uh, we didn't see a BC go down. Okay, they're still, bo they're both still alive. One of them teleported home, the other's going to have to hang out in a corner for now. But, uh, Stim on the way for Euthermal, he's getting up to three racks. Or getting up to five racks on three bases, pardon me. And look at this, Euthermal. I mean, he's just got so many Hellions. He's actually selling that this is mech to Serral. When really it's going to be a bio follow-up. So th this, this is pretty crazy from uh, Euthermal. Like, Serral, he thinks this is mech. 
And I mean, following up BCs, mech is kind of the logical choice, but no, I mean, your thermal. He's transitioning into bio. I mean, he's mainly got mech units right now. Alrighty, here here comes in the overseer. We'll scout that it's bio, and this 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 could be a bit upsetting for Cell, being like, "Come on, guy, you can't just you can't just go bio whenever you feel like it. You committed to battle cruisers." But look at this; these BCs doing their job. They're the guard dog of Euthermal, forcing these units back. And Cell, he's investing in Aspire, and he's making twelve Mutalisk. But I'm not sure if this is to cancel. I'm not sure if this is to can counteract the BCs, but Mutas are not very good versus BCs. The battle cruisers they can focus down. Mutas, Mutas take forever to kill two battle, like even just two battle cruisers, they'll take forever to kill. And then the BCs they can just Yamato and teleport out. I'd like to see you thermal repair his BCs and move on out with them. They're basically free scouting at this point for him. Now, uh, you thermal, I mean he's got Marines out, so he does have anti-air. But uh, he has no turrets just yet, so eventually the mutas are going to move in to punish him. This battle cruiser will see these mutas. He thermal, he can Yamato, can Yamato a uh, muta and get away. Uh, no, he's going to have to blink out. There we go, he blinks. He can now repair this, but he's going to need some defense in his main base. Oh, he's not pulling his marines into his main. Oh, SCV's repairing. That battle cruiser staying alive, but now Cyril in the main base with the mutas. He thermal doesn't really have an answer to this. Cyril is, has been investing in uh, more tech. Yamato Cannon, there we go, gonna pick off one of those mutas. BC is pretty good versus mutas, guys. Euthermal now investing in more and more turrets in his in his base, gonna prevent these mutas from reaching scary uh, levels of damage. Okay, Euthermal, I mean, he's got a pretty scary ground force, but... Serral back at home, I mean, he's making a lot of Banelings, and when I say a lot, he's up to 14, and he's just got so many Lings and Roaches, so he's going to make a lot more in the future, as he is maxed out. He's on five bases, he's just going to be able to throw these at you, Thermal. Was that another Yamato cannon going down on a Muta? Yeah, it was. I'm telling you guys, BC is the, the hard counter to Mutalisk. You Thermal, he's got Marines in position to counter these Mutas. We'll actually maybe get one of them. Uh, not quite. Good pullback from Cyril. <laughs> Look at this, these BCs, they're scouting out. The funny thing is, Cyril doesn't actually have, or he's made, like, he's made a single corruptor. So, the funny thing is, if Euthermal goes for a push and he brings the BCs, they're gonna help out, right? I mean, but uh, Cyril, he, he is, in all seriousness, he's in a pretty good spot. I mean, he's a five base Zerg. He's starting to build up a bank. He's going to have all the tools in his arsenal once his hive finishes up. Okay, but uh, here comes Cyril. Wall's getting worked on, but here come the BCs. They can start working away on these mutas. Going to deal with the Corruptor first. And look at this. BC is pretty good versus mutas. Euthermal's busy pushing on the side of the map. Looks like a BC does teleport out. Euthermal, the god of multitasking, is going to be uh, dealing with this. Now uh, his third base is under fire, but are all the mutas gone? All the mutas are dead. The BCs can help clean this up. Meanwhile, Euthermal pushing the fourth base up. Serral, Hellbat's pretty good. Lots of tanks in this army. Euthermal, if he can also pick off the fifth, that would be pretty good. I mean, uh, he's in a rough situation back at home, but he does have production. He's lost 25 SCVs. The BCs will help clean this up, though. Tanks as well. Oh, he needs. He can't really lose anything else. I mean, uh, Euthermal really does need to make something happen. Serral's respecting this a lot, just giving up bases, as he knows he's getting tons of counter damage done. Upgrade wise, though, Euthermal is in the lead for now. He's got 2 2, and that's why this push is pretty scary. The army for Euthermal, I mean, he's got a lot of tanks. Serral, he does have a good number of Banelings, though, 28. He's had to rebuild his Baneling Nest as he did lose that. Or did he lose it? No, he just built another. Okay, pardon me, but yeah, more Banelings on the way. And the real question is in this game, where's those BCs at? Okay, he's repairing them up. Euthermal, he needs to bring these with the main fight. There's no anti-air for Serral. The, guys, there's literally no anti-air for Serral in this game. So Euthermal, if he repairs the BCs, he can just warp these in, force Serral to retreat. It'll, these can actually be a very powerful positioning tool for Euthermal if he moves if, if he moves on Serral. 
I, I'm I'm not joking here, guys. Like when you've got two BCs, they've got they they can be utilized later on in the game. Looks like they may be moving out for some harassment, but I, it's like Serral has no anti-air here. So yeah, they certainly could get some harassment done. He's at the very least gonna force some corruptors with these, but for now he's using them as defense. Ethermal, I mean, he's on a pretty bad economy this game. They're down to 23. He needs to make something happen. I mean, he's pushing in now. I mean, there's still only a few corruptors for sale. I'm saying bring the BCs in with this. One's gone to the right. Did it just teleport there? Yes, it did. One, where's the other BC? Other BC is staying at home to defend. Ethermal, I mean, he's got a decent number of reinforcements back at home, so he's not going to take counterattack damage. He cancels the base. So Serral is only on three bases. Corruptor's coming in to deal with these BCs. Oh, this one could go down. Gotta teleport in the other BC to save it, right? Uh, no, nah, it looks like it looks like this battle cruiser will go down. One of them still one of them still carrying the torch with 25 kills. Now, I mean, you thermal. He's done good damage to the economy of Serral, but his own economy is not too good. So, the way this game's gonna work out, I think, is it's still gonna come down to whoever has the better engagement at the end. And Serral's army is looking pretty scary now that he's getting now that he's got up adrenal glands. Now that he's gonna have plus three carapace. So, uh, you thermal, and now he's moving on in. Picking off this uh, fifth base for Serral will be nice. I mean, he's keeping Serral down. He's not letting him be like. He's not letting him reach super scary heights. Alright, and that base does go down, but here comes the counterattack battle cruiser. On guard. On guard for thee. Now, a, a greater spire is on the way for Serhal. I mean, he got up to a hive. He made some corruptors to deal with the battle cruisers, and now uh, this could be all he needs. With with this ground army and a few broodlords, he can really just checkmate Euthermal, I think. Uh, here comes a counterattack for Serral. Euthermal has got a whack load of marines, though, to force his back. But uh, Euthermal still on 2 2. Not going to really have sufficient anti air to deal with these broodlords. He scans. He doesn't see the Greater Spire even. Now, where are these Broodlords? All right, they're at the back, and once they come in, I think Euthermal honestly could just GG here because he's pretty dead at this point. I mean, he can't really push in versus Broodlords. He's going to see the Broodlords and know he's in trouble. Ah, uh, there's the Broodlords. Now Euthermal has to unsiege, has to retreat. He's making a Viking. Serral's not got the best economy. Neither does Euthermal, though, by any, uh, by any means, but... Hey, you're pretty close to max out. You can always try taking a good fight. You can always harass your opponent. So maybe Euthermal does need to really switch it more into drop and harass mode. He's brought the 1BC to help out with the anti-air. Yeah, can the Amato cannon? One of those corruptors. But uh, for now, Euthermal, I mean, just with all these marines, like, yeah, they can fight versus broodlords, but... With all these banelings and awe, Serral wants to get a big surround, but Euthermal sees this. He's going to be going for it. He says, all right, now or never, I'm going for it. But he's actually <laughs> parasitic bomb on the battle cruiser. This poor guy has seen him. Oh, is he going to teleport out? Oh, he, it's on cooldown. Rest in peace. He survived like 19 minutes into this game, but here's the counterattack for Serral. I'm not sure Euthermal has an answer. He's landing some Vikings, but knows he needs to keep these alive. So Euthermal, he's all in by pretty much any means. And, uh, I think Serral, he's just gonna have checkmated his opponent. Brutal, I mean, Euthermal cannot engage versus these Broodlords. Viking is coming in. Tanks set up, I mean, if Euthermal can force Serral out, but these abducts going down on the Vikings, and now Euthermal, he doesn't really have an answer to this. Maybe he can get the base, but he's literally down to one STV. He needs to fight, he needs to win, and I'm not sure it's just gonna happen right now. He's going for it. Serral says, enough is enough. He's chasing you, Thermal, back, and I think we're going to see maybe another XV going down at the end of this game. And the <laughs> an LMAO, guys. Alrighty. Well played by Serral. Fantastically played.